Howdy, howdy, and welcome to... But It Was Aliens! <sighs> the extraterrestrial comedy podcast where we probe real, I say again, real events of extraterrestrial origin to determine as to whether these events really did involve aliens. My name is Kev and I'll be guiding today's case and alongside me with no idea as to what's coming up is Mr. Granville Moonwalker. Now, Moonwalker, note that I said real events. They're always real. Today's case is a real event involving real people. There is a place in this world, young Moonwalker, that you can find real people telling real stories. Not hiding behind internet anonymity, and that place is on the Twitter. On the Twitter. I've got a bad throat at the moment, so on the Twitter is not going to happen. Um, well, that's a shame, because I've kind of banked on it all throughout this episode. <laughs> this episode called On the Twitter. It's like, have you seen those TV shows where it's like court cases? It's like, real events with real people today on Judge Greybeard. That would be an amazing TV All show. All rise in court. I'd make a brilliant judge. Honourable judge. <laughs> <laughs> Honourable trustworthy. Honourable Judge Greybeard. Do you know what? I've got a bone to pick with you. I have never really grown beards throughout my life. But when I have, through laziness mainly... They've generally been very dark brown. They've been grey. They have not. I didn't have much of a shave over the Christmas week or two, and my beard was absolutely dark brown. I looked in the mirror this morning having not shaved, and this isn't very long <laughs> ago after Christmas at the point we're recording. And the damn thing's gone grey! You've manifested my grey beard! It was there the whole time. You just couldn't see it. It wasn't. Your third eye was closed. <laughs> you better start manifesting me some super long... <laughs> <laughs> in 2018... <laughs> in 2018... <laughs> Twitter user... Strayed away... Tweeted... Excuse me? Did they? Stray Did they stray away? away? Well, we'll find out, perhaps... Perhaps we won't. Yeah, we probably won't. Or will we? Right. <laughs> Straight away he tweeted. I really need y'all to listen to this voicemail I just got. I am deactivating my cell phone service. Ooh. I've shown Mr. Moonwalker a screenshot of the tweet so he can see what I am referring to. Okay. Now. And we actually have the voicemail here. Yes, indeed. If you'd like to Let's check this out. This. I did check this this morning, and it was working. It's a moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. The moment of truth. Sierra, Delta, Alpha, November, Golf, Echo, Romeo, Sierra, Delta, Alpha, November, Echo. Oscar, Romeo, Yankee, Oscar, Uniform, Tango, Oscar, Echo, Victor, Alpha, Charlie, Uniform, I hope you have Alpha, all these written down. Tango, <laughs> Echo, Bravo, Echo, Charlie, Alpha, Uniform, Tango, India, Oscar, Uniform, Sierra, Tango. Got to say, that was longer than I remembered. Whoa! Sorry, that was just... November. Hey, there we go. <laughs> you didn't quite catch it the first time. You're going to go for it again. But yeah, what would you do if one day you pick up your phone and you hear that voicemail? I'd just delete it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so very anticlimactic. I would just assume that someone's got the wrong number or it's just an automated service. Just That's a weird cause... automated service, isn't it? Just... There's so many kind of... Would you not even try and figure out what it said? Shit. Um, cold call, like, companies in the UK now. You literally answer your phone and then there's just this robotic voice or just... I hear you've been in an accident. Fuck off. 
Yeah, but that very much was not that, was it? No, it wasn't. But I would just assume this is someone having a prank. Mm. And I'll just delete it. See, I don't think I would. I think I'd look into it and try and work out if it was spelling things out or whether there was like hidden Morse code within it or something. You're much more inquisitive than I. I'd just be like, I haven't got time for this shit. <laughs> Gone. I'll be ringing up work. <laughs> Bringing up me. <laughs> I can't come in today. I got shit to do. It's important. Straight away, as we've established, thought that the best thing to do in this situation would be to tweet it. Tweet it. Straight away did. Dropping that tweet on March the 13th, 2018, to be precise. Is that a Friday? I don't know. You're welcome to look at a calendar and work it out. I'm about to do just that. Let's have a quick look-see, shall we? It was a Tuesday. Wow. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you for putting our minds at ease. Obviously, this message, which we've just listened to, consisted of a robotic voice, and it turns out the message was reading out a message in the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or NATO, phonetic alphabet as this was posted on the twitter the armies of the twitter were immediately on the case i can confirm that the code has indeed been translated but before i tell you what it said i'd just like to give you the opportunity to take a little guess this is aliens this is um a message from God damn it. Someone. So I'm going to guess that they are telling us that, I don't know, like they all do, there's going to be some apocalyptic event. There's some nukes that are going on. Stop being twats. Something like that. Oi, dickheads. Be better to each other. Oi, dickheads. Stop being twats. Yep. Do you think it's going to be in English? No. It's going to be in Turkish. That was a really random guess. The deciphered voicemail reads as follows. S danger, S-O-S. It is dire for you to evacuate. Be caution, they are not human. 0429339642 S-O-S. Danger, S-O-S. This is like the start of a movie, isn't it? I'm getting Will Smith Enemy of the State vibes. One random person has received something that they shouldn't have. I think you'll agree here that the key words in this message are that they are not human. Danger, they're not human. Evacuate and a bunch of numbers. What do you make of this message? Whoever sent this message isn't human. That made no sense whatsoever. It's dire for you to evacuate. Be caution. They are not human. So, what if what, they were? So what are you doing? Are you, are you staying there? What if they were blind texting? Are you just okay? I can't evacuate where I am. I'm just going to sit here and wait. Evacuate what? Exactly. No, I mean you tell me. A sex dungeon. What if you're there in a they room with sex human. robots? I'm in sex a robot. sex robot. <laughs> oh no, that is not a message you want to get, is it? Because there could be some pictures following on. If you see a sex robot's junk, does that count as seeing someone's junk? Yeah. We're going to get into some iRobot deep shit here. So what All right. was... If you shag a robot, have you lost your virginity? Swear you just went cross-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> I've broken Granville. He's just staring yeah, into the distance. I suppose you would. <laughs> so what constitutes being a robot? I said, what constitutes being a virgin? <laughs> Should be the question. <laughs> Having not had sex with anyone or thing? Oh no. There you go. There's a lot of people out there that aren't virgins. <laughs> anyway, these numbers created a bit of confusion. Some... I'm a virgin. 
claim that those numbers are actually a set of coordinates and if that is the case where do they lead if you utilize google maps and stick in the required decimal point after the first digit to make coordinates the coordinates appear to point to a location in africa just outside of akanda national park in gabon i i know what this is you do yep strayed strayed away is a member of the Arsenal board and this is them telling telling them to get a Bamiyang out of the fucking club yeah. evacuate yep that's a football or soccer reference for you folks who don't follow sport others He's from Gabon imagine hmm. if that's near to where he was born and it was followed so straight away has a lot of stroke it would appear Others have read the coordinates slightly differently though and come up with a second location near central Aket in Indonesia, close to Malaysia. Do you reckon they had a fight to see who was right? Probably an online Twitter fight which can get That's pretty I mean. volatile but not physical. Cool. It's Twitter. Unless people start calling the police or that thing called that went around a couple of years ago where into streamers. Swatting. Yeah, swatting people. Absolute idiots. Yeah, ridiculous. Right, now I just want to drop a twigger warning. <coughs> twigger? Twigger? I'm going to drop a twig on you. A trigger warning here. It's the worst time to uh, make a pronunciation error. But a trigger warning here because I'm not making light of this and we still have a lot of story to cover. But some pointed out that the second location is very close to where Malaysian Airlines flight MH370 disappeared from radar on the 8th of March 2014. Some connected some dots and have come to the conclusion that this voicemail was a transmission from that plane just prior to the potentially horrid fate that awaited, possibly even a message from the black box. One Twitter user commented on these posts asking if the flight encountered something non-human and was retweeted more than 6,000 times. Was there an extraterrestrial contact? Could a message from the plane have travelled through time? I know, I, I know this is an audio podcast, I'm just trying to wrap my head around that in mm-hmm. terms of like numbers and what happened yeah was the plane ever discovered not officially i don't believe last i think i'd looked at this bits had washed up on the shore that are believed to be from it but not 100 percent. you can never be 100 percent. no but i mean like it might have a serial number I've got a feeling there. at least one bit may have had a serial number but even so things are damaged and whatnot. And bear with me my headphones have fallen off my head from my dick hair <laughs> <laughs> Mr Moonwalker is wearing his headphones on his dick <laughs> just so you know I'm leaving that bit in <laughs> go for it I've got curtains can you remember what we were discussing or do you just want to move on after your flopping issue with your dick headphones? Let's, uh, let's carry on. Right, I don't want to get into conspiracy theories about that flight, so I'm going to shit all over that bit before I take the probe where I want to. Those coordinates, if in Indonesia, are about 50 miles inland, so unless that's where the contact happened, it's unlikely and it doesn't explain why the plane went off course to begin with or why the message said to evacuate. Meanwhile, black boxes can't make telephone calls. They ping to be physically found until their battery runs out. How long does a battery in a black box last? Ah, like a week. Not, not Not that long, but they have to send the ping out over a fairly wide distance. Because the ocean is vast, my friend. To send a message saying danger and evacuate 
is two separate steps and would also not happen as the message would be wasting time. If your plane is being attacked, why would you send a message to someone's voicemail saying for the plane to evacuate? Morse code isn't secure and it would be quicker if in danger to send text rather than Morse code. I just wanted to include that for foreigners as it is part of the narrative, but I don't think it's worth wasting time on because it doesn't add up. Let's just rewind a second and look at straight away. This was a public Twitter account, so you can Google profile pictures and photos uploaded by this person pretty easily. I have a photo of Strayed Away here for you, Mr. Moonwalker. This is not a creative genius hoaxer, but is indeed an honourable, trustworthy tweeter whom we can trust. I was taught if I never have anything nice to say, don't say anything. <laughs> so shall we continue? Why? What could you possibly have to okay. say that isn't okay. nice? So, this person happens to look like a stereotypical 2000 stoner. Um, ah, somehow I didn't get that. I mean, this we can't judge a book by its cover, so he's literally just sticking his tongue out at the camera. Yeah, well, I thought he him. just looks like Sammy Guevara from AEW with the tongue hanging out and the hat on, but... Yeah, it does know you say it. That's all that I can see when I look at that. Could be a skater boy. I said see you later, boy, because we're about to stray away onto the next section. Segway, baby! Straight Away's story wasn't done with this voicemail. Straight Away would later tweet, I don't know why I was just sent military code. Do I look like Liam Neeson? Straight Away had perhaps always been a tiny bit paranoid because in trawling the records, it turns out that on the 3rd of March 2018, Straight Away was sat in front of his house in his car when a stranger began taking photos of Straight Away's house. That was 10 days before the coded voicemail was received was somebody scoping straight away out. So someone starts taking random pictures of your house and you don't do anything? Well, I've just shown Mr. Moonwalker the tweet here and it does literally say, okay, I'm sitting in my car right in front of my house, in my car, and this guy started taking pictures of my house. Question mark. With flash? Triple question mark. Then he walked away? Question mark. Literally, what the F? UCK. It's 3 a.m. I am going to die tonight. <laughs> I'm going to die tonight. 9,333 likes. <laughs> also, oh, you can Twitter. tell the time it was only 2.29. But um, what I was going to say is if I was sat outside my house and some guy started taking pictures of my house. I'd start taking pictures of him. I'd get out of my car and walk up to him with my phone light on. But I did that when someone turned into my drive the other week. Mainly because I was worried they were going to hit my car. Uh, I was stood at that window filming them. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, so what are you doing outside my house? <laughs> or I would literally just rev the fuck out of my car and start driving it towards them. And what if they turned to you and went, Sierra, Echo, Tango, Delta, Ass. Then I'd choose the violence. <laughs> Out comes that coffee table again. That's unusual though, isn't it, right? What, for me to choose violence? No, that's pretty standard. Just some person taking photos outside your house. That's very unusual. And then you get this weird voicemail shortly after. On that note... It could also... So... Not on that note. That person taking pictures outside of his house... Yeah. Could have been scoping his house for a job. What sort of job? To rob him. We don't know what kind of stuff he's got in there. We don't know what his parents do. Mm. Don't know what's in the house. Maybe. Maybe jewels. Diamonds. Could have been some cats. Maybe they knew what was coming his way and they were looking to whack him. He got whacked. They knew that voicemail was coming. And on the note of that voicemail, segue, baby! <laughs> Back to the voicemail. 
There were other theories on the code in the voicemail too. Some thought that it was a police code, though still relating to alien invasion. An officer, either by mistake or in panic perhaps, feeling that the public should know about this, put the call out there. The voicemail and Liam Neeson tweet still weren't the last that we'd hear of Strayed Away. Strayed Away begun receiving unusual direct messages, and so what do you think Strayed Away did? That's right, Strayed Away tweeted them. Some messages were written in Indonesian, others were in Malay. One appeared to be five sets of numbers, which I won't read as it's a bit dull, but I have written them down for Granville in the notes. The Indonesian message was slightly unsettling, reading, In the post you just shared about the recording in your phone. Okay, so he, we've got a series of pictures here of these tweets. I mean, when you put stuff like this out on Twitter, you're going to get people that are just going to fuck with you. It's a given. It's it's Twitter. The public aren't nice. No. I mean, what what was he really expecting? Honestly, were the Twitter detectives going to come together and figure this thing out? No. You're going to get twats, horrible people like you. I can't be bothered with Twitter. I'm not going to lie. So we got. Uh, I'm oh, just showing oh, oh, oh. you screenshots yeah, of. You are. Of the responses. So he's posted this and he's posted things after showing some of the messages he's getting. Like I say, just to show you this is all legit. So, what I will tell you, yeah, which I'm going to call bullshit on, he says I'm throwing my phone away. Guaranteed he didn't throw that phone away. Guaranteed we've got more tweets. <laughs> more messages. Oh, you think so, hey? I think this straight away is Billy bullshit. Just be careful. Some Indonesian Twitter users pointed out that the language in some of the messages was unusually formal, like a shitty Google translation, but regardless, it turned out that the numbers were Morse code and the armies of Twitter were again on hand to help. The Twitter dicks. We will get to the bottom of this together. (laughs) The Morse code translated as... They are taking over. This was followed by a date. April the 18th, 2018. A date rumoured on the internet, and indeed in some newspapers, to be the date of the rapture. The apocalypse. The end of the world as we know it. Dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. I'll be honest though. Some the Twitter users did arrive at a second conclusion around Stephen Hawking, saying that we were not ready to face them, suggesting that aliens were coming in 2018. They're already here. So we've got another picture here of the codes and the tweet, and with someone working out what the code is, yeah, they are taking over. How much do you think this is all perpetrated by one Twitter user, or it's a group of them, or him and a mate? If you're looking at alternative theories a bit ahead of time, it could be him and friends putting out the codes, but people they have no connection to are translating them. No, I just mean, um, I'm just going off the evidence I have in front of me. Which is a lot. He's putting this out there, and then his friends are putting the next codes up, just waiting for someone else to translate them, already knowing what they are. And they're like, let's see how long we, or how far we can drag this out mm. it's the end of the world as we know it so you're so you're not necessarily on board with this at this point no well you you haven't twisted my arm yet i'll freaking break it i mean april 18th they're saying the world will end what if the world did end as we knew it what if it did so that would be like the end of the world as we know it in terms of this is the last, from this day, there will be aliens living amongst us. And there has eternity. been. But we all know they've been here longer than that. Wow. <laughs> oh, 
what if he was the message was coming from a parallel dimension perhaps that did right. another twitter phone twitter phone <laughs> <laughs> another twitter account from a parallel dimension somehow it slipped through space and time into our dimension and perhaps so that you're dimension saying it could have time traveled well i said that earlier i mean if you want to go there i'm happy to go there i mean the only way i would accept that is if someone was in a place where they're five hours earlier or five hours in front and they sent it to that person because essentially they would be sending it back, way back, back into time. Whilst the mess... If they sent it to him directly. Hmm. Whilst the messages have varied slightly, what is consistent is that aliens are here and they are taking over. Since this time, other Twitter users have actually come forward, confirming that they too received the same voicemail. People posted their own copy of the voicemail, including Twitter user Buspear, whose own voicemail also included an introduction outlining that they had been wanting to send an automated voice message to people who understand and are not afraid. The message went on to outline that aliens are going to make themselves known before going on to the exact same message as received by Strayed Away. Threats or promises that aliens were coming. So this person couldn't just go out there and use the same message. They had to try and one-up him. He can't help what he received. One-upsmanship. So did this spark another message to Strayed Away? And then it became like a... Twitter beef about alien voicemails between Straight Away and Bus Beer. And then it led to swatting. Not quite, no, actually. That's that's not what happened. We're going to find out what happened to Straight Away momentarily. Let's go. This all got a bit too much. Hold on. I feel like you're willing something bad to happen to Straight Away. <laughs> no, I'm not. Straight Away is our Twitter. hero in this story. This is Twitter. It, there's going to be something. Well, this all got a bit too much for Straight Away, who, after going viral, being reported on by many websites and receiving all the ambiguous threats, deleted their Twitter account. That's right. Straight Away, Straight Away. Or was the account deactivated by other forces? Was this the overbearing censorship of Twitter? Did the government shut this down? Or did a more mysterious agency operating above the law close straight away down? I should probably add that I've double checked and an account with the same username has been active since the 5th of April 2018, though that account was registered October 2017. This account does not follow anyone and tweeted a continuation of the story, suggesting that it was not extraterrestrials, but extraterrestrial matter that we should be afraid of, along with some more unusual messages before going dormant in December 2018. I believe it was Christmas Day, December 2018. I can't tell if this is the same person reactivating their account or whether it's an imposter who changed their Twitter handle, or could it be that mysterious forces whacked straight away and kept the account alive to fool the armies of the Twitter. The Twitter dicks. I think what you'll find happened... I think what you'll find happened... ...is that <laughs> straight away was like, I'm going to set up this elaborate story. I'm going to get as many people to follow it as possible. And then one day I'm just going to disappear. And he was like, I'm done. Because if I carry this on... People will find out I made it all up. If I disappear now, it can just live on in the ether. But why? Because if he's... In the Twitterverse. If straight away is choosing to disappear, he's not gained from it. He's got all this attention and disappeared and that attention doesn't follow him. I mean, this story lives on. We're talking about this story today. He's not benefiting. Maybe we would not be talking about this if he just carried on. He's not benefiting from it, though. He is. Because people are talking about it. Yeah, but they don't know who he is. He's living on in infamy. He's not making money from it. He's doesn't, doesn't just matter. vanished. It's, he's not not... Always, it's not always about money. He doesn't know people are talking about it's it. It's not always about money. 
He might. It's know. always he about knows. money. <laughs> he knows. He's been whacked. He's out there listening to this pod right now, and he's laughing his ass off. If you are, say hello. We'll let the world know you're okay confidentially. Well, Anonymously. <laughs> Anonymously, straight away is okay. So, I think either someone else picked it up and carried it on, or he did it from the shadows without putting himself out there. From the shadows. And then just got bored on Christmas Day. Tweeting from the shadows. <laughs> Goes to a cupboard to tweet. <laughs> They'll never know. Tweets from the closet. His his mum's like, where you going? Nowhere. I need to tweet in darkness. (laughs) From the shadows. (laughs) It is our duty to consider alternatives on this show, so what else could be going on here? Twitter user Lunar Rabbits on March the 17th, 2018, tweeted the following. This event is nowhere related to catastrophic events. 18th April is definitely safe. All lover accounts are impersonating. Reason to hold this event is to help people solve an upcoming global cicada event. Reason to hold this event is to aware people with knowledge. So, was this all actually an online puzzle from a mysterious organisation? If so, Who are these people organising this and why? The only other explanation is that it was a hoax with nobody receiving the voicemail at all. In my opinion, suggesting deleting your cell phone service in response to receiving a single voicemail and not considering yourself whether it was a hoax is somewhat indicative of such. Or were these events real and is the current straight away a plant how about it's both Mm -hmm. it's a hoax and straight away is a plant he's part of the hoax (laughs) and these people have just run with it they've just gone off on one I suppose I've just thought I should probably explain what a cicada event is for those who aren't aware basically it's one of these things that pops up online like a puzzle and people solve them step by steps for getting some sort of or sometimes some sort of reward at the end like perhaps it's what some really like creative NFT. Mm, maybe not that <laughs> but it might be what some sort of really creative tech company does to find a really skilled person to join their company it might be a way of um, viral marketing that kind of thing there could be some buried treasure out in the world that it will lead to eventually I think that's a really bad way of hiring someone. (laughs) If someone stumbles on it by chance. Yeah. (laughs) What if uh, it's this complete elaborate puzzle everyone's trying to figure out and someone just goes, butterfly. (laughs) And that's that's all they got. Oh, my God. They got straight away. (laughs) I like they're buried. The uh, all these steps are happening. All these different tweets and websites are putting all these different places with hidden code to find the next web address, and eventually at least a coordinates. And the little kid is just walking with his parents, at three years old, and accidentally digs up the the thing. <laughs> and now you've got a three year old working for you. And what if that person that solves it is an absolute douchebag? Yeah, well, there's they'd be on a probation period, I'd imagine, as a new employee. <laughs> You'd hope. <laughs> Three months, six months, whatever it may be. See you later, baby. I'd go in and cause chaos. <laughs> Just shit on the boss's desk on the first <laughs> day. <laughs> Steamy, bitch. I said cause chaos, not be an arsehole. What's the difference? Oh, there's a huge difference. How so? Go in and steal cookies. Well, that's not necessarily Mad chaos. Goodness. Did I... Ah, uh, can I tell this? I'll try. One of my jobs on my very first day it's a huge open plan office and the boss's boss's boss shared the same office and there was a shared kitchen area in the middle so on my very first day new to the company i walk into the shared kitchen area and there's a chap there looking in the fridge And I say, you won't find it, I ate it. He goes, absolutely mental. (laughs) How his 
wife or whatever it was made that sandwich for him storms out and you it no turns idea. out to be like the like i say the the senior manager <laughs> had had his sandwich taken the day before <laughs> does he like you now he retired shortly after <laughs> summarizing today we've covered Twitter user straight away receiving a NATO phonetic alphabet voicemail, which was, when translated, contained a message. The message, to paraphrase, said, Danger, evacuate, they are not human. It also contained some coordinates which pointed to either Gabon in Africa or Malaysia near where flight MH370 went missing. Some believe that this was a message from that fateful flight. Others believe that this was a police code. Straight away, started to fear for his life as a strange man was seen to take photos of Straightaway's house days earlier. Meanwhile, Straightaway begun receiving threatening direct messages telling Straightaway to delete the posts. These direct messages were in several languages, including Morse code, which was translated. Some believed that the messages were predicting the end of days. Others took a crack at translating the DMs and came to conclusions involving Stephen Hawking and alien invasion. Other Twitter users claimed to have also received the original voicemail. This, of course, all went viral and straight away got spooked, deleting their Twitter account. We discussed whether others really did receive the voicemail and whether this could all be part of an online mystery game of sorts ran by a mysterious organisation. Finally, we discussed whether it was a hoax or whether Strayed Away really returned to Twitter at all. Did they plant a new Strayed Away to cover this all up? I should add that I've shown Granville photos of lots of the tweets discussed today and I'll post some to our Instagram at But It Was Aliens Podcast. Is there anything you want to double back over, Mr. Moonwalker? That picture of Strayed Away that you showed, is yep. that the only picture of them? on uh, the Twitter. I don't actually know. It because was their profile is, picture. Is that really them? Mm. Why would you choose that photo if it isn't you? <laughs> to throw everyone off. Yeah. Inconspicuous, I guess. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, like I say, I can't remember. It's the only photo I decided to use, so it may have been. Mm. Okay. I've got nothing else to go over. So are you saying that it was aliens... No, this is all a hoax. Punk. And this is a hoax either aimed at straight away by people he knows, mm. or this is by straight away trying to just create something and see if he can put it out there. Yeah. By the guy that created the story of the Dybbuk box. Yeah, I enjoyed just that to, one. Just to put it out there. Yeah, yeah. This is straight away's Dybbuk box. He got the Twitter dicks on it. We should um, try and put our heads together and come up with something like this and set up burner accounts and do it. Great fun. If you've got any suggestions on how we can fool the world. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that it was aliens either. This was possibly the first time that we've covered a Twitter case like this and I am more keen now to cover live investigations. Maybe that's something we'll do in the future. Covering a case as it happens. I have to admit though, when I saw that straight away tweeted the person taking photos of his house before receiving the voicemail, I started wondering whether straight away was trying to get a viral conspiracy going, testing a few methods before one stuck. As such, this one isn't aliens for me obviously, but I did enjoy following the trail of breadcrumbs and seeing where this one went. It's my opinion that this was a hoax, but we don't know where straight away has been since December 2018, so maybe you'll have different thoughts at home. Any final thoughts from yourself, Mooney? No. <laughs> Never have you looked at me so disappointed or blankly. That's a wrap for today. Thank you for listening to... But It Was Aliens! Ah! We've been doing this show a while now, and you may or may not be aware that in addition to the main show, over on Patreon.com forward slash But It Was Aliens... Once per month, we release a bonus episode, aka a side probe into more widely paranormal cases outside of the alien genre. For about a fiver a month, 
give or take, you can experience our exploration into possessions, cryptids, telepathic sexual deviants, sexy vampires, a rain man, and much, much more. All sorts of shenanigans go down on the Patreon, and that helps us to reinvest in the show without filling your lug holes with too many adverts and whatnot. We get lots of offers for ball hair trimmers for some reason, but in an ideal world, we'd love to keep the show free with ads to a minimum, and Patreon lets us meet our costs whilst giving something back. Outside of that, if you want to get in touch with us and maybe suggest an episode topic or just to say hello, you can do so on the Twitter. And the Twitter! <laughs> but it was aliens. Or you can check our other social links, such as our Facebook group, Extraterrestrial Towers, via the podcast episode notes. That's it for today, so until next time. Do fish go to war? Yep. The truth is up there. Hash tag prep. Prep. Prep, prep. How are you so certain that fishes go to war? Send them. What? But you were fish? Yep. I need to know more about that. <laughs>